Hello everybody, back here again with another vlog a day. And today is Tuesday the 8th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning fairly early, not too bad. Uh, got the dogs taken out. Uh, my great Dane has decided he doesn't like the tile in my bathroom. I'm not sure it's up with that, but he doesn't want to go through the bathroom to go outside. Kind of acting like a weirdo. But I got him through there. Um, it took him a minute. He's like, I don't know, it looked like he was just like, like it was lava. I'm like, dude, it's not lava, it's the bathroom. You've been in here before, calm down. So, got him outside, got him all taken care of, all that good fun stuff. Um, basically hanging out, getting it all good to go. Um, ended up having a couple of dogs. Got a bunch of weird dog requests today because the storm's coming. I got a bunch of people trying to dump their dogs off with me. I don't know if they're leaving town or what the hell is going on, but just like dogs in our met dogs are read the reviews and they're like their information like not friendly with their dogs and stuff i'm like nope not gonna happen i have other dogs here and i have one especially it's like a little herder dog that she wants to play with everybody and chase around and hurt them and stuff but i can't have that with dogs that don't do well with dogs it's just ridiculous so it's one of those things that if i had met the dogs before and watched them prior to whatever whole different story i had somebody who used to bring their dogs to me every fourth of july because her dog hated fireworks so much and it did better with me and it's calmer with me than it was with her. And I think parts because I have other dogs here always help, but we just give off such a calm energy of the house that the dog does well here. But I'm not taking on new dogs coming into a hurricane where we might be trapped inside the house for 24 hours or longer, not being able to go outside, you know, potty breaks, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, um, yeah, not worth it. So it is what it is there. Um, went ahead, got a couple other things done. Got a few things done around the house. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to be boarding the house up or not, wait for my wife to tell me that. Uh, I told her if we're doing it like last time, if she thinks she's gonna do it, I need to know as soon as I can, so I can get it done. Cause last time for hurricane I was out and it was raining and it was windy and it just got raining the whole time and it just made it a lot more difficult and it sucked a lot. So I did go out, uh, had a couple of errands to run, ended up going down to uh, walk the RV dogs and got down there it was makes it started raining and stuff i got there i was trying to push it a little bit early to try and beat the weather but got there got them out they both went pee um got a little bit of walk in and then the storm hit like one of the feeder bands hit us and just was pouring down rain it was bad the dogs were like hell no we ain't going nowhere we're going back to the trailer and i was like come on guys just come on just go poop real quick i'm like i'm gonna stand up and they were just like standing there looking at the leash like no we're going in so we got a little walk in not a great walk but we got a little bit of a walk in um, headed back from there I headed up to go pick up some new bolts for my hurricane shutters on the new house because the ones that are there I'm assuming whoever made the shutters is a damn idiot because that's the traditional um, bolt that everybody else uses but the holes they made aren't big enough to slide over the head of that bolt so I don't know what the hell they were thinking like it's in the butt so you can kind of slide down from the side or it doesn't fit very well and they're also they're not installed proper heights and stuff so I'd realized that when I was trying to put them together, it's like dining room, you know, but there was different heights, the bolts, it's, it needs to be redone. I'm not sure how to go about redoing the block house, how to change it. So I'll probably just buy some new metal shutters and re-punch some holes in them because I don't know what else to do here. Probably just get myself like a step bit, drill out my own holes and make it myself. I might see I can't find something right here. It has a press that has a punch that's in that shape that I want, but stopped in, get the bolts. They didn't have the ones I really wanted, the um, hose. Trust, trust bolts, trust bolts. They didn't have any, they were all way too long. They were like an inch and a half, two inches I had. I needed one inch and didn't have any of those. So I got the smaller head bolts. So what I can do is I can thread them in and then I can just hang the thing up and drop it down on place. And I'm like that should make my life a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold perfectly great. It's not, it's not, it's not wonderful, but it is what it is. So we'll make it work. Um, Ended up getting 110 of those, but I needed, I think I got more than that. He just, I he measured out like the weight of like 10 of them and then just dumped the weight on there and it's 20, 22 bucks, whatever, for a bunch of bolts, but it should make my life a lot easier. I'll find it out tomorrow, I guess, when I go to install them. And if my wife says I need them, if I don't need them, I'll just, I got extra bolts for God knows what. And I'll order the Haas bolts that I need to be able to actually handle that in the process. So, but yeah, got that done, got back to the house, um, got my run in. Got a few other things done around the place. Um, nothing major, just trying to move some stuff around, trying to get stuff over here. Went back to the house, had a meet and greet. Um, meet and greet at the house. <laughs> Went splendidly horrible. Um, 
got there, the little dog was kind of a little bit ornery, but it wasn't too bad, whatnot. And then basically that Bruce meet the dog at the house. I met him at the old house actually. And as, as we're in the process of moving out, cause I don't have the new house, there's no gate yet. A couple other things I'm working on that I haven't got finished yet. So I'm like, screw it. And right now the way it's set up in the new house, the dog's like out in the backyard, let's say, and I had the dog meet and greet in the living room. They can still see us the big giant doors and windows and glass and all that stuff. So wanted to have that. So I had the meet and gear there. And shortly after meeting Bruce, the dogs got along decently. The dog tried to be a little aggressive towards Bruce. And I was like, okay, whatever. And the dog decided to piss on my chair. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she goes, oh yeah, he does that quite a bit, blah, blah, blah. He thinks he's dominant. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, just, no, go away. Get your dog, get the hell out of here. Like, first off, tell me this shit. So I could have taken him outside, see if I couldn't drain him before he got in here kind of thing. And the meet and greet. But if you're that flippant that you don't give a shit about any of this stuff, then I don't want to deal with you and your damn dog. So, and the best part was I was watching her, meeting her dogs, her mom's coming down from up north. And they want me to watch both dogs. Maybe at least going to do the one stay or one meet and greet with her dogs. So I thought, well, if it gets long and they get long, we can make it work. But I was like, no, let's go away. So I went back, canceled that booking completely because just screw off. I just, I don't have time for this stuff. So went ahead um, from there. Got a couple other things done. My wife got home from work. We had ourselves a little bit of dinner. I went ahead to install the new TV. It's an old TV from her dad's house. Hasn't been turned on in over 10 years. And didn't even think it turned on before I moved it from his house to see if anything works or not. But I thought, ah, oh, what the hell, we'll hang it up and see if it works. So before I uh, hung it up, I checked to make sure it at least came on. Didn't have any like internet hookup or nothing to it. But I thought, yeah, if it turns on, it's all I need. So and we don't know where the remote's at to it either, but with the powers on the side and whatnot. So I might also throw a Roku on it and we'll be good to go. I can do volume and stuff off of that, hopefully. So I took it over the house. I waited around. I was getting, about the time I was going to get home from work. I want to go ahead and get it mounted up and kind of wanted to have her tell me what she thought for heights wise and the location of the wall. So I put some tape there and said, hey, are you good with this? She said, absolutely, that'll work. So I mounted the bracket on the wall, the little hanging bracket, and all it does is just it tilt up and down. It doesn't tilt left to right or put checked out or that kind of stuff. But it's a little higher than I really want it for proper viewing, but I have my dogs love see underneath it. I don't want him hitting his head on it as they jump and run and jump on the couch kind of thing. And that, so I kind of had it up a little higher than it needed to be. But I went to put it up on the wall and it's pretty heavy. It's an older TV, like I said, it's 15 years old probably or so. And I went ahead and went to stick it up on there. And I was having a little trouble getting it up on there. So I was like, couldn't really see it. And I was trying to lift up and I'm now putting it way higher than I should be. So I'm kind of struggling trying to get it up on there and stuff. I get it about where it needs to be, but not quite where it needs to be. And I've got my mom, she's in there, she's got the flashlight trying to help me and trying to tell me where I need to go. And she keeps like pushing up on the corner of the damn TV. And I keep telling her, I'm like, stop touching the TV. Like, she goes, well, I'm just trying to help. I said, I don't want your help because she don't want it falling on him. Like, I don't care if it falls on me because I can't have you touching it because I've got this thing procurely balanced. I'm trying to get it on a, on a you know, bracket and I can't tell if it's hooked on the bracket or it's hooked on you. And I know what the hell's going on and stuff. Like four times I told her, I'm like, stop touching the TV. So at one point I stopped, I'm like trying to bounce there. So I'm getting ready to shift my position, my hand to get a different angle on it. And she like pushes up on the TV, which then shifts to the side. I'm like, stop touching the TV. I'm like, you can't touch the TV. Get the hell away from here. She goes, I just gotta go. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and cook your wife's food. She can come in and help you. I can't help myself but touch it. I'm like, that's why I don't ask for your help. Like this right here is a major reason why I can never ask for your help. Because even though I tell you a hundred times, don't touch this, just stand there and tell me where it's at. You can't help yourself but touch it. So we got that stuff down, I got the TV put up. Basically while she, she went in the kitchen and my wife was coming back in, I just grabbed the TV and chucked it up on the thing. Had it 98, I had it lined up. Got it up in there, got it all good to go. Well, I got some wrenches, got the bolts tightened up so it can't go anywhere and all that good fun stuff. Hooked up the Roku and then got it working and watched some TV, uh, watched a couple shows, or watched the A show, I guess technically. But went ahead from there. Um, after that's done, then I went through and program. The Roku remote wasn't working to do like volume instead of turn the power on and whatnot. Had to go into settings to get it set up. First time, it like, do you hear music? I'm like, yes, and it has something else. And I misread it. And I thought it said, do you still hear music? And I say, no, and it said that the music shut off. So I had to go back through and reset it up because it said, none of the options we gave you worked. And I'm like, no, no, hold on, this works. So I had to go back there and redo it, so I got it working. So now we got a TV remote that's a Roku remote. So to change inputs and that kind of stuff, we gotta go over to the actual side of the TV. But there are buttons hidden on the back so it works. And it's a little bigger than our old TV. Um, a little bit newer, but not by much. And it's just a, I watch 45 minutes of TV a night. That's all I ever watch. I may watch a movie once a month, but all my TV watching is done on the iPad outside. And that's, 
that's where I watch TV. So went ahead, said to hold it, and got that up and done. Got our dinner eaten. Uh, from there, headed back outside the dogs, chilled out with them for a bit. Gorgeous weather we're having, absolutely beautiful weather. Uh, storm's coming, so it's always nice right before the storm gets here. And then it's usually beautiful after the storm, which is a shitty couple days during the hurricanes. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.